Hello, welcome back to the cyber panel installation uh, tutorial series and in uh, this video uh, we are going to learn how to upload a static website on uh, on our domain name so we have uh, this domain uh, we have uh, we had previously installed wordpress i just removed it and that's why you are seeing that uh, it's throwing an error 404 so in for this particular uh, video we are going to see how to upload a static website so with me here i have uh, just a simple uh, website template and uh, i want to to move uh, this uh, uh, website to uh, production <coughs> so uh, what we are going to do uh, i already have the website files for for this website i have compressed them uh, you can see them here it's basically a folder with images and the index so i compressed them to um, uh, to this uh, single file then uh, so the next thing after ensuring that they are in one single file uh, then we get back to our cyber panel dashboard then uh, click on uh, websites so let us open this on a new on a new tab So what we want to achieve is that we want to have uh, uh, our this website instead of uh, showing uh, error 404 uh, we wanted to show uh, this uh, content so uh, after navigating to websites let us list our website then we have uh, this option we have the file manager option click on that then uh, let's click on uh, fabric html folder this is uh, where this domain checks for files so well, once we are in this path click on upload then uh, you can drag and drop your files here alternatively you can click on this uh, you can click on this uh, option choose file we want to upload this file here so click on that and click on uh, open then it has been added to the queue so click on this uh, upload uh, option so uh, depending with the size of the file it may take a bit of time but uh, my file is uh, bearing an mb so just take some few seconds so once uh, the upload is completed you can check on the status here click on uh, this uh, close button so what we have this is the file we have now uh, we are yet to have a website if you click on reload on that you see we still don't have uh, any website so what we need to do is that uh, we need to extract these files so just right click right click on this uh, file that we just uploaded then we have this extract uh, option then extract and uh, there we go so let's come back here uh, click on reload and there we go we have uh, successfully been able to uh we have successfully been able to upload this website that we were accessing locally to our domain name so that's simply how to to go about it if you still get an error 404 there are some few things that you can try doing to resolve that that is even after uploading uh, or rather after extracting your content here so for instance if uh, these contents were uh, extracted to a folder for instance uh, let me just have a folder here and name it a uh, new folder let me just name it new folder then uh, i have uh, uh, let me move i want to move these files to this uh, new folder that we just created so that uh, we are able to see whatever we get and how we can uh, work around that 
so let's click on the move um, the move option in this let's add new click on move so our files now are under this uh, folder so let's come to our domain name here and click on reload so you see what we are getting we get uh, an error 404 so if you uh, for instance if you have uh, after extracting the files and they were uh, uh, they were uploaded in another folder you need to get into that folder so we are here in the new folder and uh, select all then move them to uh, public html alternatively you can access uh, your domain name slash the folder that uh, you uh, you uploaded your website but i believe this is not what you intend so uh, let us just move these files uh, to the root folder which is the public html so let's go back so we, we are we are able to resolve that but even if uh, for instance there are some scenarios that uh, even after moving your files to the root directory you still get an error 404 this could be uh, a permission issue so what you need to do just uh, click on this uh, button here select all and uh, click on fix permissions this will fix uh, the permissions for uh, these files and you'll be able to access your domain name uh, that's simply how to uh, upload a static website on your uh, uh, on your domain name basically this is uh, an index uh, rather it's a uh, uh, website built on html and uh, some styling if it was a, a php website and uh, the same uh, process uh, the same uh, process works but uh, you can also check on the, on uh, how to upload the various uh, uh, types of websites if uh, your, your type of website you have a challenge uploading it please um, comment in the comment section and we'll be able to uh, uh, to do a guide uh, for that uh, particular website thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next uh, video bye bye